Have you ever wondered what happens to your brain when you sleep? Now you probably are thinking, well, I dream. Or maybe my brain sleeps as well. But the actual fact is it's much more fascinating and complex than that. It's much more exciting. Your brain actually has a function while you sleep. It is not only important, but it could be very crucial to how long you live and the quality of your life. Have I piqued your interest? Well, don't go away. I'll be right back to share with you what happens to your brain while you sleep. So there have been many studies that have been done on the brain, both human brains and brains of mice, uh, which help us to understand how the brain works and functions and what happens when we sleep. There have been a number of studies, a couple of them, that looked at sleep deprivation and how it affects our bodies. One study found that depriving the brain of sleep for consecutive nights, three to five nights, the brain cells actually begin to go into overdrive. Essentially, the study says, eating themselves, eating away at your brain. This and another study that looked at memory forming in the brain found that sleep deprived people have trouble forming memories. Not only do they have trouble forming new memories, they have trouble recalling old memories. This could help us understand a little bit about how people sometimes seem so foggy. Maybe they're not getting enough sleep. What's fascinating though is a recent study took it a little bit further to help us understand maybe a process in the brain, a cleansing process that may actually be very necessary not only for memory forming, uh, for new cell regeneration, but to cleanse the brain of toxins and waste, and also a process which allows the brain to rejuvenate, regenerate, and establish those memories that you made in the day so that they can be recalled later. Some researchers took a bunch of mice and they put them to sleep and they tracked the brains of the mice. And what they found was absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. So they looked at these mice and they found that when the mice were sleeping, that there was actually a cleansing in the brain where the brain was actually flushing toxins and waste that did not happen to that extent during the day. Now it does happen during the day, but to a very very small degree. It happens very prominently and very actively and effectively at night when you sleep. Now this researcher's research helps us understand a lot of things. Not only how our brains function and the need for sleep, but also the fact that this could be a huge precursor to cancer tumors forming in the brain. If you have a cancer tumor that is formed in the brain or you know somebody that does, think about their schedule. How has the last 10, 20 years of their life been? Have they worked a lot of nights? Did they stay up late? Have they worked swing shifts? This may have played a role in the, in the tumor forming. The brain has maybe never been able to fully cleanse. It has been believed for a long time that you only needed a certain amount of sleep and it didn't matter when you got that sleep. Research is actually showing us that you need to sleep at night, that these processes don't work as effectively during the daytime. 
So while you sleep, the neural pathways in your brain actually shrink. Some scientists say by up to 25%, some say more. We know that they actually shrink. And it's in this shrinking process that not only helps to establish and solidify uh, the memories that are formed and to establish the pathways, the neural pathways in your brain, but it shrinks to allow the cleansing process of the brain. This cleansing process that flushes waste and toxins out through the glymphatic system. Now, this research is absolutely crucial to understand because if you want to live a long life, or at least if you want to live a happy, healthy life, and don't want to die of Alzheimer's or some other mental disorder, this research could be crucial to you making decisions in your life that could help ensure that is reality. We now know that a lot of people who have dementia and Alzheimer's and other mental disorders, perhaps even bipolar and some of these other um, diseases, sleep may have played a huge role or lack of sleep may have played a huge role in these diseases forming. If your body is not able to cleanse itself, you have issues. We are well aware of these issues. Um, but when the brain is not able to cleanse, this is something that the science has not known as extensively. But the body and the brain work synergistically and they need to both be cleansed. And both of these cleanse during the night as well as in the day. It's important to understand that how we treat our bodies today determines our quality of health tomorrow. So my question for you is tonight, when you sleep, what is your brain doing? And if tonight you're not sleeping, what is your brain not doing? Think about it. If you're able to, get a good night's rest. Get to bed early, get a full night's sleep, and let your brain cleanse to help prevent possibly tumors and cancers and perhaps other diseases. This is the Uncommon Sense Show. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, please give it a like, please subscribe, and please comment and let me know uh, questions you might be interested in hearing answered on this show. I frequently go through studies and scientific articles and research journals looking for the latest exciting research. I will be sharing this research with you in the form of short videos, as short as I can possibly make them. So please comment, like, and subscribe. I would love to hear from you. Thank you so much for watching. Please share with your friends and your family. So next time somebody tells you to be a little bit more open-minded, tell them that you are while you're sleeping. Because while you're sleeping, the neural pathways shrink. You're probably more open-minded at that point than any other point. Peace.